Today we're putting together this new Hyper Green F7 VTD and we're shipping it south of the border to Mexico City. Stay tuned and we'll show you how we put it together. Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining today, Steve. We have a customer build. I love it. Going all the way to Mexico. I love it, man. I love customer builds. Our fans seem to like customer builds because they want to see what other people buy. Yeah, we had a, a video that we put out a week or so ago, Steve. We're giving away $500 towards a Speedflex helmet of your dreams where you can put all the pieces together up to $500. We cover anything over that if you want to get a little crazy on it. That's going to be on you, but we'll see. Why don't you throw the link to it right up here in the corner? Done. And if you haven't entered that yet, you need to go enter that contest and, and leave some comments and stuff. Really appreciate everybody who left the comment. We got the helmet. We got a silver face mask. This one's going to be the titanium version of the T. Uh, looks like an ROPO. We've got a white unbranded shut elite hard cut chin strap. It's going to be replacing the black one. We're going to be sending the black one as well because it's the one that comes with the helmet. And then we've got an Under Armour visor that's got the cool hibiscus flower design on it, which I think is going to go really cool. So I think that Gabriel, did we mention this is going to Gabriel yet, Steve? I'm not sure we said his name. So I think it's interesting that Gabriel here, I think he's got an eye for design because this visor, I think, is would be exactly what I would do on this helmet. I agree. So first, let's get this visor in here. If you buy something here at GreenGridIron.com, we assemble it for you for free. Yeah, so we're selling more helmets and we're moving more, more product and we want to be able to give you guys the best prices available on everything. And so this year we're doing just the regular clips, the regular face mask clips, instead of the quarter turns or the quick release. We always like to put our screws in just a little bit just to get it started. So if you're out there and you're, you're building your own helmet, you don't ever want to lock anything down right out of the gate. You always want to get, kind of get everything on there. So Steve, what do you think of this color? Personally, I think it looks amazing. I would probably get sick of it after a couple of weeks, but right now, I'm, I love it. Steve, I just locked this thing down and guess what I forgot to do? Put the chin strap on. All right, so I've done this before. I'll do it again. I'll show you how to put the chin strap on when you when your brain doesn't isn't working properly. <laughs> Maybe it's the cold that I've got. Sure, let's say that. So I'm going to take these buckles off. Or if you're out on the field and you need to switch your chin strap for some reason, or if you don't want to take your face mask off, just take the buckles off and then you can feed it up through. Simple little trick. I bet you half the people didn't think of. I say it every time. I don't know, Steve. I feel like I wasn't thinking. Do you like this color? And if you do, or if you don't, do you think it's here to say? You're kind of sick of it? Tired of seeing it all over the place? I'm not. I think it works. I think on this helmet with the black TPU liner and all the little black components, I think it's amazing. I really, really do. Yeah, I think it looks good with this white chin strap. I think the black would look nice as well. But I got to tell you, when you put a white chin strap on, it kind of, I'll, I'll say this, when you put a black chin strap on a black face mask, it kind of makes everything in this area look really dark. Yes. It's kind of hard to see. This way, everything is kind of popping. And as I talk about that, Gabriel here got some black decals to put on his Under Armour clips. And before everybody asks, Hey, I saw that you had some of those under, unbranded Under Armour clips available a little while ago. Where'd they go? I want some. They were gone. That's it. We only we only get them used from teams here and there, and they did not last very long. We told you to hurry. Yeah, so. These are a good alternative, these little decals. We sell yeah. them, and they're just a couple of bucks. And how, they, many, how many different colors do we got of these? Ooh, blue, gray, white, black. Yeah, camo, like five or six different colors. Check this thing out. 
Let's talk about it one more time. We'll go over all the little pieces here. We've got the shut F7 VTD helmet. You've got the Under Armour Hibiscus visor. We've got an unbranded shut hard cup elite chin strap. We've got uh, some decals to go over the logos for the Under Armour clips. And we have the built by Green Gridiron sticker on the back. It's all about that visor, man. Yeah, I think it pops. I love it. Can't wait to see what this guy looks like once he gets decals on it. For everybody else, please leave your comments below. Let us know what kind of build you would put together. And like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.